Hey guys, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video. So if that is something you want to watch, then just keep rolling, and if not, then just let it like play in the background so I can get the views for it, because that would be really nice of you. So yeah, we'll just get right into it, I guess. Typically, I start with my eyebrows, because why not, I guess? I don't know. And I use the City Color Bold Brow. Yep, you can see that. And for the brush, I use... Yeah, I don't know what I use. The It Cosmetics uh, 217 Angled Liner Slash Brow Brush. Ooh, beautiful. And I also am just super great and I have a huge mirror behind me but that doesn't help me if I want close up and my other mirror right here has a big light on it so if I move it forward then everything gets washed out because I don't know how to plan ahead so I'm just gonna use the mirror on the back of this palette and I usually go in with the darker one of the two as you can tell there's a huge divot in there for that but that's because I have dark brows and not light brows at all. I don't wanna hear that no more. Bitch, I done grew up, blew up. I also don't really know how to like do eyebrows like everybody else does that look fabulous. So I just like color mine in because I want to be like everybody else. Do they look even? maybe possibly here's the thing i love makeup i don't know how to apply it so this is just a big learning process and then after my brows i usually do my eyes next because why not and i always go in with the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion whatever this stuff because it's wonderful i love this stuff like honestly it, my eyeshadow stays on it stays on all day it doesn't crease unless i blend really badly because i suck but other than that like this stuff bomb and then i usually just blend it with my fingers because that's just i'm trash that's just who i am as a person and here comes the hard part trying to figure out first of all which palette to use second of all which colors to use and third of all try not to look like a and I just recently got the Norvina palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, which it's gorgeous. It's wonderful. And I got the Morphe Fall into Frost palette. But wait, that's not all that I have spent all of my money on recently. So I also have recently purchased the Lorac Unzipped Desert Sunshine and the Aspen of our Tarte palette. And the Subculture palette, also the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I've got a lot of choices plus um, all of these because I don't have any self-control. I don't know what that is. All right, I think we're going to go with the Morphe Fall into Frost palette because just just look at it. Would you just, would you just look at it? It's beautiful. For my base color, I always just go in with this. Listen, I got it from Ipsy. I'm not really sure how to say it. I think it's like Luxy. Lux? I'm not sure. 205, the tapered blending brush. It's sturdy. Sorry. My bad. And I'm going to go in with this one right here. They don't have names, or they do, and I don't know them because I'm trash. <laughs> I usually just pick like a, I want to say neutral, but it's kind of brownish actually, but like a brownish neutral color just to like put down as a base on my eyelids because when I watch other people who are good at this stuff, that's usually what they do. So I just follow them basically. And then for like the crease of my eyes, I use this Sigma Blending E25 brush. It's also dirty. 
And then for my like crease color, I'm gonna go to the Norvina palette and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one and it's Volatile, I think. Yep, Volatile. Here's the thing about these Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. They are so pigmented and so wonderful. I don't even need to put a lot on my brush because it goes a long way. Like it's wonderful, honestly. And I just put that in the crease here. You kind of look like a dip when you're doing it or maybe that's just me, honestly. So there you have that and it looks like this. It looks like there's just dirt all over your face or all over your eyes, really. But it's fine because it's not going to look like that for much longer, hopefully. And then for my lid color, I go back in with this Luxie brush. And this one is the 207 Medium Angled Shading Brush. Again, I got it from Ipsy. Again, dirty. And we're going to go in with this color right here. It's kind of like a rose goldy, pinky, glittery everything. And I just kind of dab it on there because I, well I watched that in a video too and I feel like you're not supposed to like brush it on. It gets rid of like everything else you've done. I don't really know. I might have just made that up honestly. I'm not a beauty guru. Wish I was. But I'm not. I'm not good at it. And then by the time you're done with that, hopefully it doesn't look like it, honestly. Um, no promises for mine yet? Not sure. We'll see. That's about it for eyeshadow. I don't really go into any more detail because um, I don't know how. So you don't get to witness that today. Next time, maybe. And then next I do my eyeliner and for that I just use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. It's honestly my favorite. I never really liked liquid eyeliner it senses fear i'm fearful but this rocks i love this i honestly love this so i'm going to do that but um i suck so i'm going to do it off camera and come back okay so i did my eyeliner i keep getting so close to this camera and i'm so sorry because i'm so gross but whatever so i did my eyeliner um yeah, it doesn't look great, but it um, also is there, so it doesn't look horrible, I suppose. And then I do mascara, and I actually use like 16 different mascaras on a daily basis because I just do. It's just who I am as a person. But I always start with this Marc Jacobs uh, mascara. It's just Marc Jacobs black, I think. Yeah. Black Marc Jacobs mascara. No way. No way. Ta da! You can't see on camera, but it's done now. And then um, to prime my face, I usually just use this Ulta Fabulous Face Primer stuff. But I was running out, so I cut the top off because Broke Girl Hacks. And um, so I've just been using this brush. It's just, it's just a brush. I don't know. And I usually mix it around. But um, also there, since I cut the top off, uh, I think there might be a little bit of dust in there. So uh, yeah, might just uh, end up with some dust on my face. And then again, I just wrap it in with my fingers. Should I rub all this stuff in with my fingers? Probably not at all. But you know what? I could be like doing my eyeshadow with my fingers and I'm not. So I'm already a step ahead there. My life is like kind of together, right? The next step in Megan's 10 out of 10 trash can makeup review get ready with me would be to get your beauty blender wet or damp. Damp. Wow, I'm back already. So after you do your beauty blender, then I go in with my concealer and I just use the NARS Creamy Concealer. I think it's in the shade Radiant. Nope. I lied. Light to vanilla. Cause you girl pale. And I kind of just go over my spots. 
like there's a spot there's a spot I don't know what that was so then you look like this it's super cute and then uh, you take your beauty blender and you just kind of like pat it don't don't rub it I learned that one don't rub it because it like smears your makeup okay so my camera um, shut off right after I was um, it done in the middle of doing my concealer but it's fine I didn't get any farther because I suck so next I'm going to do my foundation and I use the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 foundation and I am the color NC 15 and I put it on like you remember when silicone beauty blenders were like the thing that everybody wanted to use well, I got one and it, it's trash. I hate it. There's no point to it. It's just stupid. So I put my foundation on and then I mix it with this Tarte uh, Moroccan oil and I use a little brush and I mix it and then I put it on my face. So you do have a use, silicone little implant. Good job. I just use this dirty brush that's already filled with foundation and I mix it and then it kind of saves your hand because I used to mix it on my hand a lot and then I always just ended up with a weird foundation patch like on my hand and now I don't and start foundationing your face I chime in with the haven't seen people ever heard of closing a goddamn door no real question when you're listening to I write sins not tragedies do you say closing the door or closing a door I want you to comment that down in the comments where else would you comment that I want you to put that down in the comments because it's very important that I know these things we always have a debate with it when it comes on in the car and there are new people because well comment first and then you can keep going with this video if you've made it this far I guess because it's um, the door I don't care what anybody else has to say and if you say a door I don't know if we can be friends so basically that's just the point of my story. Make sure you blend down your neck too because honestly I know quite a few people who don't. And um, just do it. It's not hard. Just do it. It looks like kind of patchy on my camera with this light shining. But I promise it's not because um, I wouldn't post this video if it did. So after I do my foundation, then I go in with the um, MAC Studio Fix like pressed powder. And it's also in the NC15 because match. So then I just go in with this brush um, and put the powder over it to set it because I learned somewhere that's what you do. Then I go in with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Dark Circle eraser and I kind of just use it to highlight a little bit or something like that. Is this probably redundant to what I just did? Probably. Do I care though? Not at all. The more makeup that I can put on my face, the better. So then once you've got this little diagram happening on your face, how did I come up with this diagram? I saw somebody else do it. You take your beauty blender, which is still damp, and you blend that in. And then after I blend that in, I go in with the um, Laura Mercier translucent like setting powder. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't, I don't really know what I do with this, but I know that it was expensive and people love it. So I just kind of put it on my beauty blender then, and um, I've seen people just go like this. Is it not enough? Is it too much? I don't know. I don't know. Do you do it everywhere? Do I do it down here too? I'm going to. It's on my shirt now. I'm going to put it up here too because I had my age rewind up there. Next, I'm going to use this Too Faced Milk Chocolate soleil i think it's called for the contour this one is just the uh, ulta contour bronzer brush super simple but i just dip it in here 
and I make like a three. Like super, super simple. And then usually at this point I go back to mascara again. And I use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I did that and then um, I think it's time to brush off the cocaine. For that I use this Sephora 94 Pro Core Diffuser. I don't know what that means, but I know that I can do this. And I just kind of brush it and pat it off because I don't know what you're supposed to do with it, honestly. And then I take the NYX HD finishing powder, as you can tell I use it a lot. And I take this big fluffy brush and I go over my entire face with it. Anywhere that I've put makeup basically just gets a lot of finishing powder on it. Then I use this NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All. And that's where I get my highlighter from. And I use this cute little unicorn Lisa Frank brush. And I use this top one. And I kind of just start right here and just go like this. But that's not all because we love a good highlight. Then I also take the Becca highlighter, the opal. And I usually have a mirror for this. Oh well. I kind of go right here and on top of my nose. I go back and forth between the NYX um, Matte Finish Setting Spray and the Urban Decay All Nighter. I like them both. Honestly, I think they might kind of work the same. I'm not really sure. We'll just do this one for now. And then I have to do my lipstick, but um, definitely can't do that on camera because I can't even do that in real life. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so, um, I just spent about 75 years trying to do this lipstick and it still looks like <laughs> But I used the ColourPop Matte Lipstick in the shade Perky and also the NYX Lingerie, Liquid Lingerie Lipstick in Push Up. And um, that's about it. That's how you go from a negative one to a strong one. If you like this video, you can give it a big thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more things. I'm going to film another video today, so I'm going to look like this in it. Sorry in advance. Yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye! Say hello to all my little